Good afternoon everyone, it is Will here this afternoon for our collective worship once again. You might notice this, my background's a little different, that's because I'm currently on residential uh, with Holy Rosie Primary School at the Briars uh, Retreat Centre, which some of you might even get the opportunity to go to late this year, and um, you might even be able to hear it in the background, so sorry about that in advance. We're still going to make sure that collective worship is delivered, so uh, without further ado, this week our word of the week is diversity, and let's begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. <laughs> Wicked stuff. Now, over the last few weeks, we've looked a lot at all the different things uh, that unite us and bring us together. But actually, this week, we're going to celebrate what makes us a little bit different. Because as I said, our word of the week is diversity. So, quick fire question this week is, write down all of the things that make you different. Off you go. Awesome, I hope you enjoy exploring those things that make you unique in your forms. What's wonderful about these things that make us unique is that they were made by God. Uh, and when God makes things, he doesn't just think, oh, that'd be cool if we had that. Um, he loves them into creation. He loves things so much that he wants to create them. And that is exactly how we were all created. God loves us so much. He thought the world cannot be without this person. So when we look at this list in front of us of things that make us unique, it's important to remind ourselves that that um, is God and God's a creation um, within us. And this week's piece of scripture I think can really remind us of that. So this week's reading is a reading from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians. For through him God created everything in heaven and on earth, the seen and unseen things, including spiritual powers, lords, rulers and authorities. God created the whole universe through him and for him. Christ existed before all things and in union with him all things have their proper place. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This piece of scripture tells us that before the universe was even created, God had thought of us, loved us, and was like, this person is going to be amazing. And what's going to make them amazing? All of these things that make them unique. And so today, actually, we're going to spend some time celebrating these things that make us unique. I'd like you, uh, using a piece of paper provided, um, to draw the outline of a person. And inside it, I'd like you to fill it with all of the different words which you wrote to make yourself unique. You might even want to draw some of those things. So for example, maybe one of the things that makes you unique is you really love swimming. So you might want to uh, draw some water around you. Maybe you really like football, so you draw a football. Maybe you're really good at maths, so you draw some like maths equations around the outside. Whatever it may be, have a think about all these things that make you unique. And I'd like you to create an image that expresses that uniqueness within yourself out on the piece of paper provided. So when you're ready, off you go. Wicked stuff. I hope you enjoyed um, making those pieces of art to express uh, your own uniqueness this afternoon. Of course, we're going to um, go into now a time of prayer as we always do. And we're going to take a few moments now to prepare for that. So I encourage you to just be still, take a deep breath, acknowledge God's presence in the room and just spend a few moments just chilling and preparing for prayer. Nice one. So for today's prayer, it's going to be a prayer of thanks uh, for all of these amazing things that God has done for us that make us unique. Um, what I'd like you to do is look at the image in front of you and get your finger and I'd like you to point to each of the individual things that you have done over the next 30 seconds or so. Take some time on each one, think, really think about what it is that you do in those moments and how God has given you gifts to make you unique at that. And just say a prayer of thanks. It just has to be as simple as thank you, God, for each one. So we're going to do that now. Nice one, thank you. Now, what's wonderful about where we live, although by no means is it perfect, uh, we are very fortunate that we have a lot of opportunity to uh, share what makes us unique. Like I said, it's by no means perfect and we've got a long way to go and I believe in your acts of worship this week, you're gonna find out a little bit more about that. Um, the in-person ones, not this one. Um, but I thought now for the second half of our um, time of prayer together, it would be nice for us to think about the people around the world who aren't able to share their uniqueness. 
And in fact, I'd really love for this part of our prayer not to be so silent. So feel free to pop your hands up and share any intentions that you may have for people around the world who aren't able to share their diversity. Wonderful. And we're going to join all of our prayers together, remembering that Jesus loves us all uh, by saying the prayer that he taught us, the Our Father. So we say together now, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Awesome. So your mission for this week is to take that card that is your expression of uniqueness uh, that you've made this afternoon and I'd like to put it in your blazer pocket. Then um, either on your way out of school today uh, or tomorrow or the day after that or basically any day this week, I'd like you to bring it to the chapel and we're going to make a wall of diversity in our school. Once you're in the chapel, feel free to get, um, join in with our uh, prayer station that we've got in there at the moment. We're making a box of love, thinking about all of the ways that we experience love. A reminder that the chapel is open for you at any time that you want to use it. Um, but that is your mission for this week, to bring your card of uniqueness um, to the chapel and we're going to create a wall of diversity. But for now, guys, I will see you around this week and have an amazing week. Let's end with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See ya!